All right, now onto that dancing story. A high school in Bennington has decided to cancel its homecoming dance. It says that the dancing that's been happening is sexual in nature and making some students uncomfortable. That decision is sparking discussion, as you might imagine, but the school says this isn't anything like the movie Footloose. The school told CBS 6 reporter Tori Wells this is an effort to tackle a real concern. I keep telling them this is, you know, this is not rock and roll. This is not Elvis Presley in the hips. This is, this is a very different kind of dancing. Mount Anthony Union High School Dean David Barrio says that inappropriate dancing has crept into the Bennington, Vermont school. We've seen the trends in society with the dancing, um, grinding, then twerking, and you know, it's, it's, my job is to make sure that people are safe. And he says the sexual nature of the dancing created an unsafe atmosphere. The school has raised concerns with students before, but he says it hasn't stopped. So I thought we've got to have something that's going to raise awareness. So I thought if we put a moratorium on the dance, we encourage or we force a discussion with the community. And discussion has been sparked online and on the streets. Some calling it an overreaction and unfair. Others are okay with it. I think it's worth a conversation, absolutely. And I think it's something that the children are around. They shouldn't punish them for doing what they see on TV. You know, I think that's up to the parents to try to like monitor what their kids watch. We found other schools across the country have been dealing with a similar conversation. Some have put contracts in place, spelling out that, quote, sexually explicit dancing will not be tolerated. Barrio says the goal is not to punish the students. Instead, he's asking for their help in coming up with other ideas. And students have suggested things like 70s or 80s themed dances. You know, and the easiest thing for us to do would be to do nothing and just let, just say, go ahead. But I, I can't in good conscience um, do what I do and, and go to a dance and allow this to happen. Tori Wells, CBS 6 News. And a postscript here, Tori called about a half dozen schools in the area and asked if they had similar conversations with their students or have dance contracts. And Shen and Hoosick Falls returned her calls and told her that they don't have any formal contract, but they haven't had much of an issue either. The other districts haven't called back yet.